What's up, everybody? Y'all come on in. We'll get started. Come on. We'll give him a couple more minutes and then we'll get started.
I'm only and we will get started shortly. Come on, me. All right, let us begin. I want to give a shout out uh, to the goddess Davis Toso or Latasha. She asked me to decode the Emerald Tablets. And so here we go, this was extra food. I sent her the invite, she may make it, she may not, depending on what she is, what she doing. So, let us begin. Now, the first million dollar question is, what are the Emerald Tablets? Well, Brian, the Emerald Tablets, the, the Emerald Tablets are what you would like to call tablets or wisdom of the heart chakra. You see what I'm saying? Wisdom of the heart. You see what I'm saying? Because Emerald is green. You see what I'm saying? Green. So, 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 with that being said, that's what these, these, these tablets or these snippets of wisdom are teaching you how to tap into your heart force. You see what I'm saying? Now, now, um, of course, these animal tablets are presided over by the god Tehuti. You see what I'm saying? He wrote these, left them behind. And he created this particular tablet. You see what I'm saying? It's just a snippet of what they look like. You see what I'm saying? It's a snippet of what they look like. Emerald tablets. You see what I'm saying? But 
uh, there's a particular spell in this book. I think it's in the, the Tablet of Magic section. If you do that spell, it triggers, it, it, it takes you into a realm where you have a conversation with Tehudi. And he tells you the true mysteries of the Emerald Tablets. And he tells you that the Emerald Tablets are deals with heart wisdom. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Emotional intelligence, heart intelligence, the heart soul. You see what I'm saying? And if you have enough wisdom on you to ask the question, why Emerald? Tell you why Emerald? Why not Sapphire Tablets? Why not Onyx Tablets? Why not Amethyst Tablets? You see what I'm saying? And he's going to tell you that what kind of plant he's going to ask you, what kind of planet are you on? Oh, we on a heart, we on a heart chakra type planet. And he's going to say, exactly. So, of course, since you on a heart, you on a planet that represents the heart chakra, or the plane of existence you live in is, is a representation of the heart chakra, then, of course, the tablets are known as the emerald tablets. That's why not the Amethyst tablets or the Unis tablets, stuff like that. So, now, he wanted me, I was talking to him, and he wanted me to tell you, he wanted me to read out to you one of the tablets. And he chose for me Tablet 7. So, let me read to you Tablet 7. We're going to go over Tablet 7. Let's see. Tablet 7 represents the seven lords. Now, we already know the seven lords are the seven chakras. You see what I'm saying? And this is what those seven, this, this is what Tablet 7 says. It states this, hark ye, O man, and listen to my voice. Open thy mind space and drink of my wisdom. Dark is the pathway of life that ye travel. Many the pitfalls that lie in thy way. Seek you ever, seek ye ever to gain greater wisdom. Always seek wisdom. Attain and it shall be light on the way. Country is on the way. Open thy soul. O man to the cosmic and let it flow in as one with thy soul. Light is eternal and darkness is fleeting. Light he is consciousness and darkness he is ignorance. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> Seek ye ever, O man, for the light. Know ye that ever as light fills thy being, darkness for thee shall soon disappear. Now, open thy soul to the brothers of brightness. Now, what did he mean by brothers of brightness? He mean the forces of your superconscious mind, your metaphysical mind, you know, your master mind. You see what I'm saying? That's what he mean by brothers of brightness. Then he says, let them enter and flee with light. Lift up thine eyes to the light of the cosmos. Keep thy ever thy face to the goal. Only by gaining the light of all wisdom are thou one with the infinite goal. Right. Palpatine told you that in Star Wars, to understand, to understand the great mystery, one must study all of its aspects. You see what I'm saying? So now, seek ye ever the one that's eternal. Seek ever the light into one. Hark ye, O man, listen to my voice. Singing a song of light and life. Singing a song of light and of, a, and of life. Throughout all space, light is prevailing, encompassing all with this banner. When, with its banners it, and its flames. Seek ye forever in the veil of the darkness. Now, seek ye forever in the veil of the darkness or the veil of ignorance. Somewhere ye shall surely find light. Hidden and buried, lost to man's knowledge. Deep in the finite, the infinite exists. Lost but existing. Flowing through all things. Living in, living in all is the infinite brain. In all space, there is only one wisdom. Through seeming, though through seeming, though seeming, the decided there is one in the one. All that exists come forth from the light, and the light comes forth from the all. The all is the creator. Everything created is based upon order. Law rules the space where the infinite dwells. Forth from, forth from equilibrium or balance came the great cycles, moving in harmony. Towards infinity's end. Know ye, O man, that far in the space time, infinity itself shall pass into change. Hear ye and listen to the voice of 
wisdom. Know that all is of all evermore. Know that through time thou may pursue wisdom and find ever more light consciousness on the way. Know that through time thou may pursue wisdom and find ever more light on the way. A. Thou shalt find that ever receive thy goal shall elude thee from day unto day. A. Thou shalt find that ever receding thy goal shall elude thee from day unto day. A long time ago, in the halls of Amenti, I thus stood before the lords of the cycles. Mighty they in their aspects of power, mighty they in the wisdom unveiled. Led by the dweller, first did I see them, but afterwards free was I of their presence, free to enter their conclave at will. Often did I journey down the dark pathway unto the hall where the light ever glows. Learn I of the masters of cycles. Wisdom brought from the cycles above, manifest they in this cycle as guides of man to the knowledge of all. Seven are they, mighty in power, talking about the chakra now, speaking these words through me to me. Time after time stood I before them listening to words that came not with sound. See what I'm saying? So it was vibration. Once said they unto me, O man, wouldst thou gain wisdom? Seek forward in the heart of the flame. Wouldst thou gain knowledge of power? Seek ye, seek ye it in the heart of the flame. The heart of the flame is your soul. See what I'm saying? Was be one with the heart of the flame? Seek them, seek them within thine own hidden flame, thine own sacred knowledge of your soul. You see what I'm saying? Many the times spoke they to me, teaching me wisdom not of the world, Showing me ever new paths to brightness. Teaching me wisdom brought from above. Giving knowledge of operation. Learning of law. The order of all. You see what I'm saying? What's up, Rose Garcia? Spoke to me again a seven saying. From far beyond time are we. Come, O oh man. Travel we from beyond space time. A. From the place of infinity's end. When ye... And all of thy brethren were formless. So they tell me right there that you were formless. Meaning you were you, you, you didn't you didn't exist on the physical uh, physical plane or the material world. You existed in the primordial, where you could choose to take a form or not. You see what I'm saying? Formed forth, we were we from the order of all. Not as men are we. The ones we too were as men. Out of the great void where we form forth out of the primordial, out of the primordial source and element, where, where we form forth. That's what the great void is. In order by law. What do they mean by law? What's law? The law is ye are gods. You see what I'm saying? That's what that's what law is. Cause law is always in all caps. Know that law. And that law is ye are gods. And, and children of the most high creator. You see what I'm saying? That is the law. You see what I'm saying? For know ye that which is formed truly is formless, having formed only to thine eyes. Notice what he said here. For know ye that which is formed truly is formless, having formed only to thine eyes. You see what I'm saying? So everything here is just energy. That's basically what he's saying. That's basically what he's saying here. And again, unto me spoke the seven, the chakras, saying, Child of the light, O Thoth, O Tehuti, art thou free to travel the bright path upward until, until at last all ones become one. Notice what they said there. Child of the light, consciousness, O Thoth, O Thoth. Thoth just means thought, by the way. Art thou. Free to travel the bright path upward until at last all ones becomes one. You see what I'm saying? So everything inside of you, once you ascend up to your highest super conscious metaphysical mind, is going to become one. What's up, Jermaine? It's going, it's going to become one holistic energy inside of you. All the forces inside mm -hmm. of you. Energy. You see what I'm saying? So, so, so this, this, this is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about. So he he, he dropped it here. Next he says, fourth we form, form after our order. Three, four, four, five, six, seven. 
8 and 9. Know ye that these are the numbers of cycles that we descend from unto man, each having here a duty to fulfill, each having here a force to control. So they descended down from the tree of life. You see what I'm saying? Down from the primordial realm of the creator into the physical, on down the tree of life into the physical plane. That's basically what they're saying here. And each one of them governs a particular force. You know how all of us are born with a certain set of attributes, both positive and negative. Certain skills, certain abilities that we all naturally have. You see what I'm saying? So we all naturally have these forces that we control by default. You see what I'm saying? Your spiritual starter pack, as I always say. So, so, so you all represent that particular force inside inside of you and you're emanating it you're that particular being living uh out this particular program you see what i'm saying this particular storyline uh marvin jones are living out this storyline on marvin jones's path you see what i'm saying and so we are living out your own storylines so now let us continue continue yet are we one with the soul of our cycle yet are we to to uh, yet are we too seeking a goal Far beyond man's conception, infinity extends into a greater than all. There in a time that is yet not a time, we shall all become one with a greater than all. Time and space are moving in cycles. Know ye their law, and ye too shall be free. A. Free shall ye be to move through the cycles, past the guardians that dwell at the door. Who are the guardians that dwells at the door? They are beings... They are just forces that guard that particular frequency of energy. And depending on what type of forces they are, when you walk up to them, they're going to ask you what you want. And you just tell them, knowledge of self, knowledge of who I am. And that gets you through the door. You see what I'm saying? If you tell them anything up, man, I'm here for knowledge of self, they could t attack you or devour you. You see what I'm saying? So, so, so remember that when you, when you're taking these travels and adventures, then, let's see here, then to me spoke he of nine, saying, Aeons and aeons have I existed, knowing not life and tasting not death. For know ye, O man, that far in the future life and death shall be one with the all, each so perfected by balancing the other, that neither exists in the oneness of all. In mean of this cycle, the life force is rampant, but life in its growth becomes one with them all. Here I manifest in this your cycle, but yet am I there in your future of t yet am I there in your future of time? Yet to me time exists not. For in work for in my world time exists not. For formless are we. Life have we not, but yet have existence, fuller and greater and freer than thee. Check out EPD telling you what it is, like we free. It's the quantum world. You see what I'm saying? In a quantum world, right? ain't no time. You see what I'm saying? They showed you that in Ant Man. Both of them. Ain't no time in a quantum world. Five, five hours there is maybe five years here, like they showed you in uh, Avengers Endgame. So when he said, I'm formless, he, he tell you I'm quantum. Nah, I'm, 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 a, I'm a quantum being. Nah. I'm, I, I entered the, 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 the Realm of melanin, the primordial realm of the quantum world. Because the quantum world was created before anything. You see what I'm saying? You always start small. And what's, some, what's the smallest thing we know? The quantum world. So, so, so. And, and from there, even in the quantum world, there's a, there's a level of quantum. Uh, there's a level that's even more small than the quantum world, you see, than the atom, you see what I'm saying? There's literally elementary particles that are smaller than atoms, like photons or, uh, or um, uh, bosons, you see what I'm saying? So, 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 so Pete Gang, you know, they tell you the secrets to God. They tell you both science and mysticism, you know, well, to who they telling you in this case. Now, what was I? Here we go. Man is a flame bound to a mountain. Now that's deep. Man is a soul bound to a body. But we in our cycle shall ever be free. Know ye, O man, that we ye, that when ye have progressed into the cycle that lived in the above, life itself will pass to the darkness, and only the essence of soul shall remain. 
Then to me, the Lord of the eight, saying, All that ye know is but a part of little. Not as ye, not as yet have ye touched on the great. Far out in space where light being supreme came out to the light. Form was I also, but not as ye are. Body of light was my formless form formed. See that see the body of light is your soul body, which was formless, but it still formed. It still has a form, but it's but it was crafted by by his own soul's intelligence. You see what I'm saying? So that's why he said my light was my formless form that was formed. You see what I'm saying? No I not life and no I not death. Yeah, master am I of all that exists. Seek ye to find the path that exists. Seek ye to find the path through the barriers. Travel the road that leads to the light, consciousness. Spoke again to me, the nine, saying, Seek ye to find the path to the young. Not impossible is it to grow to a consciousness above. So it's not impossible for you to ascend levels of consciousness. That's what he's saying here. For then two have become one, and one has become the all. For for then for when two has become one, when your yin, feminine, and young, masculine have become one holistic energy, and one has become all. Because once you once you uh, fuse the feminine and masculine energy together, that's balanced. But once that one androgynous energy, uh, once those two energies balance out and become neutral, then you enter a state of androgyny, which is a state of holism. Or the state of being whole. You see what I'm saying? So, so yeah. Let's see here. Let's see here. For when, for when two have become one and one has become the all, know ye the barrier has lifted and ye are made free of the road. Grow thou from form to the formless. Notice what they tell you. So come, leave from the material back to the primordial. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Free may thou be of the road. Thus through ages I listen. Learn the way to the all. Now lift I my thoughts to the all thing. Listen ye and hear when it calls. You're talking about, you're talking about the ineffable call of the all. You know, the call to the force. You see what I'm saying? So that's what he that's what he tell you. Always listen for that call. And that call always comes in signs, symbols, omens, and intuitions. You see what I'm saying? So now let us continue. O light, all pervading, one with all and all with one. Now I want to break that down. O light or old consciousness, which is all pervading, which is one with all and all with one. Flow thou to me through the channel. Enter thou so that I may be free. Make me one with the all also. Shining from the blackness of night. What's the blackness of night, Melanie? Free. Let me be of all space time. Free from the veil of the night, which is the veil of ignorance. I, a child of light, command. I, a child of light, command. Free from the darkness to be. Formless, formless am I to the light soul. Formless yet shining with light. Know I the bonds of the darkness of the ignorance. Must shatter and fall before light. Conscience. Now, give I this wisdom. Free may ye be, O oh man, living in light and in brightness. Turn not they, thy face from the light. Thy soul dwells in the realms of brightness. Like I told you, brightness is the metaphysical mind or the master mind or your super consciousness. You see what I'm saying? Your, 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 your master self, your inner master. You see what I'm saying? Like Grandmaster Yoda or Mace Windu. You see what I'm saying? Your inner master. Your, they were super conscious. They weren't just conscious. They were super conscious. That's why they were the most powerful Jedi in their era. You see what I'm saying? I ain't going to say they ever exist, but in their era or their space time. See what I'm saying? Now, ye are a child of the light. Turn thy thoughts inward, not outward. No, as he said, focus inward, focus within you. You gotta learn to reach within. You see what I'm saying? Find out the light soul within. Know that thou art the master. Like I just said, all else is brought from with. All else is brought from within. Grow thou, grow thou to the realms of brightness, or the realms of superconsciousness. 
O thou, thy thought on the light consciousness, know thou art one with the cosmos, a flame, soul, and a child of the light, or a child of consciousness. Now, to thee give, give I a warning. Let not, let not the thought turn away. Know that the brightness flows through the body for I. Turn not to the dark brothers or the ignorant brothers. Though the forces of ignorance, you see what I'm saying? Because when you're ignorant, you're just a fucker most of the time. They come from the brothers of black. Why they say that? Turn not to the dark brothers or brothers of ignorance. They come from the brothers of black. The end of frequency or the energy of ignorance. You see what I'm saying? But keep thine eyes ever lifted. Thy soul in tune with the light. Consciousness. Take ye this wisdom and heed it. Listen to my voice and obey. Follow the pathway to brightness, and thou shalt be one with the way. And that's tablet seven, the seven lords, or the seven chakras, and in the book of Tehuti. You see that arrow tablet? He wanted me to read y'all that, and so I can see why. Because a lot of things he said made clear the things that's been going on with a lot of people. You see what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of people are trying to find their way. So that was the perfect tablet. The perfect uh, heart wisdom to figure out. You see what I'm saying? So, 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 so. Because your heart wisdom is your soul wisdom. Cause that's why it's called the heart soul. You see what I'm saying? And through this wisdom, you gain light or consciousness. And through consciousness, you become uh, bright. You, you, you gain brightness or enbrightenment, which is the consciousness. And the super consciousness is your true highest metaphysical master. You see what I'm saying? Your, your, your metaphysical self or your metaphysical mind or mastermind. Thank God, thank God Samuel Jackson in the movie Glass. You see what I'm saying? He was a mastermind. He was super conscious. You see what I'm saying? So there you go. There you go. What you saying here, Jermaine? These bosons are force carriers. Fermions are particles of standing wave vibrations with mass. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Bosons are known as midichlorians in Star Wars. Believe it or not, he is boson is the god particle. You see what I'm saying? So of course that's the midichlorians that y'all hear so much about in Star Wars, which are pretty much uh, they pretty much benefactors and communicators of the force. And we all have bosons inside of us by default because we are all one big atom, one big uh, conglomerate of atoms. So so this force is operating through us. You see what I'm saying? So this this is how it works. Now, now, of course, I had I have to talk to y'all about the last tablet that I was telling y'all about in the field, uh, in my, in my old recent futurism video. Of course, since we're talking about the whole Emerald Tabs, of course I gotta give you the last heart wisdom. You see what I'm saying? Of course, and I told y'all in that lecture that the last Emerald Tablet was in the primordial realm in the field of reeds. And it reads this, in the last days, there will be new advanced technologies, creative works, magical systems, new products and herbs, New natural beings or gods will rise up to renew the contracts or energies. And this res this resurrection will lead Mother Earth or the Mother Heart, Prime Heart, and her inhabitants into a new golden age. So, so these new beings or star seeds, as we call ourselves these days, will rise up to renew the contracts, energies, forces for the new cycle. And this resurrection of the dead will lead Mother Earth or the uh, Mother Hearts or Prime Heart and her inhabitants, children of the heart, into a new golden age. Which is what you're, which is what you're seeing at this moment in time. You see what I'm saying? You're seeing everybody coming out. How many, how many artists you see in motherfuckers creating? What is creative works? What is new at technology. Yeah, if they weren't killing off the scientists, we'd be way more advanced than we are now. Do more things mentally and spiritually, and they don't want that. You see what I'm saying? So they only want you to have but so much technology, you know, like these cell phones, you know. You ain't never toys. You see what I'm saying? You ain't never shit that we just play with. But at the same time, it's a, it's a double-edged sword or a paradox because it's a toy, but at the same time, you got the wisdom of the cosmos in there. 
Yeah, you can just Google whatever the fuck you want to Google. You see what I'm saying? To learn all the occult wisdom that's been hidden. There we go. God damn. I'm back, y'all. I'm back. The library, so the signal be fluctuating. Now, now, what was I? Yes. Create new, create new technologies, all of it. And like I said, they weren't killing the scientists. We, we'd already be in a space age. Hell. We wouldn't, we wouldn't need to wait. We already be fucking flying and shit. But due to their greed, due to the cabal's greed, they don't want us to have this. You see what I'm saying? Cause how many, how many articles you see of these new star seeds on the planet creating? They everywhere. Doing doing whatever they can, but these motherfuckers don't want to endorse them. You need a patent just for your technologies. Type of shit is dead. Why you just can't create just to create? Now nah, they want to control everything you do. Cause they want you to stay a slave to their system. Just like Morpheus told us. You are a slave, Neo. A slave that you can't see or touch. A slave for your mind. They want you to stay enslaved down here. In their matrix, you see what I'm saying? That's why that's why Morpheus told them that the matrix is all around us. It's in everything you do, permeating these arc honey frequencies to make sure um, that you stay locked down. That, that, that's, that's their whole goal, to stay locked in their system. They'll let you have your fun or enjoy yourself as long as you don't get out of control. You see what I'm saying? As long as you don't get out of control, get out of hand, like, like the star seeds wars and matrix. You know, bucking the system. You see what I'm saying? They got to send the agents after you. And as y'all well know, the agents can be anybody. Agents are nothing but energy. That works for the matrix. That makes sure that you don't you don't uh, get out of control and start to shut down their matrix. You see what I'm saying? That's what agents are. So agents could be anybody who's still connected to the system. Like 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 Morphe said, they they are the gatekeepers. If you are not one of us, you one of them. So even your parents, your family could be a potential agent. You see what I'm saying? Even your family could be a potential agent around here. Uh, because they're still jacked into the system, jacked into the matrix. Until those minds are free, then they still have the potential to work against us. That's why they don't want to heal this 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 consciousness. They don't want to heal the metaphysics they don't want to heal spirituality because they're still jacked into the matrix and those arcane frequencies are feeding them a lie you see what i'm saying and the an illusion you see what i'm saying so that's that's what's happening here that's that's why they don't want uh, these, these these teachers to come out that's why they're scared of star seed that's why uh, one of the greatest things that Star Seeds did was take over Facebook for real, for real. We took that shit over and we're using it for our advantage. You see what I'm saying? To 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 help enlighten the world. Cause billions of people on Facebook. Here's motherfucking countries without roads, but they got Facebook. You see what I'm saying? So this is this is one of the ways that the creator helped us with freeing the planet. You see what I'm saying? And all our celestial family members. You see what I'm saying? So so this is what this is about. So, so that's what that's that's what they trying to do here. Keep us locked down in their matrix, but the matrix is crumbling every day because the cycles are changing. So when new energies come in, the old energies got to go, and they don't want they don't want this. They don't want this. But this this is not child call cabal. This is this 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 is a call. This is Earth's call. This is she's ready to move on. So y'all got to move on because we here to free this. We here to free this planet. And ascend it. You see what I'm saying? We already on the fourth dimension. We are really already on the fifth dimension. For real, for real. Everybody is just waking up to that fact that we're on the fifth dimension and beyond. You see what I'm saying? Because why you got to stop at the fifth hill? Six, seven, eight, ninth hills. Dimensions are infinite. Planes are infinite. You see what I'm saying? So, so only you know how far you want to take this. You see what I'm saying? So, now, how about we get into the history? of the Jedi. Yeah, the true the true history, the legends of the Jedi. Which is why I said um in my hashtag in every religion there's a bit of truth. This is what I mean by this. Now back in the day during the times of Atlanta 
Atlantis and Lemuria, actually, both. They had advanced crystal technologies. Which they did. Advanced crystal technologies. Especially Atlantis. Atlantis uh, was, was way on the level. Lemuria had it too, but they were more natural with theirs. You know, she had teleportation, you know, um, uh, uh, chi, they can shoot chi energy out of their hands at will, flight, you know, they can do all the cool things, walking, opening portals, walking through it. All they had to do was use their minds. But Atlantis used crystal technology way more. So it's not, it's not beyond us. It's not beyond us to, know that they created these, the lightsaber. It's not beyond us to know that they had the technologies to actually create lightsaber. Because lightsaber is nothing but crystal technology. Uh, let me tell y'all how this worked. During their time, when they was making these, when they was using crystal magic and crystal technologies, they would literally take a crystal. I should have brought mine with me. I left them at the house though, damn. Uh, uh, they would literally take technologies, take a crystal, and they would chant its sacred names, activate the the, the, the soul of the crystal, and the crystal would give off a certain light, a certain frequency. You see what I'm saying? And they would take this energy and plant it into the light sable, and it will project out ray of light or a beam of light. Now, depending on what color the crystal was, for what, what, is what color the lightsaber would be. Say, for example, we're going to take purple. Um, if the, we're going to say a mythic crystal that they activated was uh, brimming with purple energy, they will put their purple crystal in the lightsaber and they will activate it and out comes a purple ray. You see what I'm saying? Due to the 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 technologies in the lightsaber harnessing the crystal energy to project that beam or ray of light. You see what I'm saying? So this is this is actually old technology. This this has been around. Like they have lightsabers in the Vatican, y'all. <laughs> this year, George Lucas just didn't come up with this. Yeah, they got these in the Vatican, y'all. Locked down. They know about these. They know about the lightsabers. They know about the Jedi warriors, the original guardians of the galaxy. This ain't nothing new. Hell, motherfuckers been rocking lightsabers. Uh, black, purple, blue, green, yellow, red, orange. You see what I'm saying? Gold. So they they been rocking the lightsabers. The lightsabers was based off what type of crystal crystal you use. Most of the time, most of the time, um, we we were all about purple, gold. Black uh, and green. And green, because you know we cheered another heart. So a lot of people had green lightsabers as well. And we did some blue as well. So, 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 what they, they got most of those colors right in Star Wars green, blue, purple, um, black. They got a dark saber as well. A lot of, a lot of masters, uh, a, a lot of masters had dark sabers. Um, um, green, purple, a lot of masters had purple. And gold as well. Then, then you had uh, uh, blue and yellow. Uh, yellow was a big color as well. So, so, so. But they had all the colors: orange, red, pink. You know, didn't really fucking matter. It depends on the crystal that you use, the crystal that you vibrated with. They had a character in Star Wars by the name of Ahsoka Tano, and she was so in tune with the crystals, she was meditating on a moon, and the crystals were across the galaxy, and they were calling out to her. From the other side of the galaxy, the the Inquisitor showed up to kill her. She took down the uh, she took down the Inquisitor. Took the crystals out. They were they were they were brimming red. She used her force to purify the crystals of the hatred, and they turned into a white, a pretty white. You see what I'm saying? And they represented white and Star Wars represent you using the force in its totality. You see what I'm saying? So, 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 this is, this is what we're talking about, these crystal technologies. So, these boys and girls had this technology in Atlantis and Lemuria, y'all. This ain't that new. They, they was about this. They was known all across the galaxy for using this. Matter of fact, here is what you got called uh, Star Wars, Jedi vs. Sith, the essential guide to the Force by... 
bridal window. Bridal window. And what's so funny here is it's a catalog or pretty much a compendium of all the wars that happened. Mm -hmm. well, well, now, what if I told y'all that these. What? Yeah, yeah. Alright, here we go, here we go. Alright, what if I what if I told y'all that these uh these 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 wars war is a record of our wars that we fought in the galaxy. Cause this the prime earth, the prime earth. so we were the original guardians of the galaxies. So they would live so a lot of beings around the cosmos would literally get on the phone. And call us to come help them. You see what I'm saying? So, really, the reason why a lot of these ETs are back now is because they remember us helping them. So, now, during our time of need, they've come back to help us. You see what I'm saying? Because these Archons, the Draco Federation, which is really the Archon Federation for real, for real, are, are into the galaxy about six or seven hundred thousand, six to eight hundred thousand years ago. And they've been fucking shit up. All over the galaxy, you see what I'm saying? A lot of beings have lost their lives fucking with these niggas. So, 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 the Orion Empire, the Arconic Empire, the Arconian Empire, you see what I'm saying? Truth be told, and they've been running around the galaxy, running rampant, fucking shit up. And so, we've been getting phone calls, we was getting phone calls uh, to help these beings in need. So, we would go out there and help them and fight. The, this, this, this Arconic Federation, you see what I'm saying? This Arconic Empire, you see what I'm saying? And we would take them out, you see what I'm saying? So, so we was taking, we were whooping their ass so much. Okay, come back, come back. Yeah, what was that? Right, we was whooping their ass so much across the cosmos, they brought the fight to our solstice. That's why they came here. They came here because we were whooping their asses. So, what happened was they entered our solar system and it was a mass armada of ships, y'all. I mean, it was like, because you got, you got beings who already didn't like us from other star systems. You got, you got Zeus's clan. You got, you got, you got, you got, you got, you got Zeus's beings that he created. They didn't like us. So they joined forces with the Archon, the Arconian Empire. And now you got fucking 500,000 ships you gotta deal with. You see what I'm saying? These motherfuckers was deep. You see what I'm saying? To my 10 million, 100 million deep. They, they, were, these are no small fry. And they all bought You see what I'm saying? And we fought them motherfuckers for 100 years. You see what I'm saying? Warm with their ass. And we was kicking their asses. Don't, no, don't, don't let them get it twisted. Don't, don't, don't let it get, don't get it twisted. We were whooping their asses until they started destroying our structures of power, started nuking the earth, started uh, shooting neutron bombs and all type of shit. And these bombs and shit were designed to snatch us from our energy bodies or spiritual bodies. So that's what, what, what was happening. That's why we lost our power. And once we lost our power, then, then that's when they came on the planet and subjugated us and enslaved us. You see what I'm saying? And uh, like my boy Brother Wilson would say, these motherfuckers here literally... They literally, if they if they caught you meditating, they would shoot you on sight. They would shoot you on sight. They would execute you right there. If they caught you meditating because they know we could always go back in and rebuild up our force. We still had that knowledge at the time. We still had the word, the power of the word. So just the things we said could kill them. You see what I'm saying? Death magic. You see what I'm saying? So, 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 so this is what, this is what happened here. All this here, Star Wars, these compendium of all these wars, that's all the shit that we was doing in this galaxy. It, was, it wasn't a galaxy far, far away. It, all that shit happened right here in this galaxy. You see what I'm saying? This, 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 these wars, you see what I'm saying? All they've been doing, the Jedi and the Sith, is really just, I, they just been, um, uh, they just been uh, pitching our signs, putting our signs against each other. He said, pitting our signs against each other. You see what I'm saying? The Jedi, the light side of the force, are the soul lords. And the Sith, the dark side of the force, is melanin lords. But they are all bound by their one unified 
metaphysical field. You see what I'm saying? Of energy, power, and presence. You see what I'm saying? So that's what the force is. You see what I'm saying? So they get everything in their power to make sure that we that we wouldn't rise back up. But we gave them only 400 years. Right. We gave them only 400 years of a rulership over the whole planet, you know. You know, it took them a couple thousand years just to fucking subjugate, subjugate the whole planet. But we gave, we gave them only 400 years of actual rule, you see what I'm saying, of the whole planet. You see what I'm saying? So, 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 so we gave them that 400 years. And it's funny, when we gave them that 400 years, they didn't think we were serious. They were like, ah, ha, 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 whatever, motherfuckers, whatever. Y'all ain't coming back. 400 years later, we coming back. We, we, we bringing it. And now we coming back with a force to reckon with, cause you, you killed our ancestors, you murdered our people, you destroyed our planet. Piss. Yeah, not only did you piss us off, you pissed off a whole galaxy of beings because you did whatever you did to us, you did to them too. So now they they here to see you fall. They here to see you fall and, and, and us rise because, yeah, we already know that y'all can't vibrate but so high. Yeah, y'all can only go four dimensions. So she, so after the fourth dimension, y'all gonna lose all y'all power over the earth. We already know that. And so, here we go, here we go. Yeah, yeah, these archons are kind of attacking me all right, man. They all want y'all to hear this, but we gonna, I'm gonna get to y'all. We gonna work through this. So, 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 yeah, we, 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 we attacking y'all hard now. So, so, y'all about. This this close to 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 losing it all. You see what I'm saying? They've been telling y'all that they've been losing money. Money has been disappearing. That's our ancestors. That's our cosmic elders and cosmic family wiping their shit away. You see what I'm saying? They said September 21st, 2019 is the end of that 400 year cycle. Pete Gang, yeah. It's from September. Uh, of 21st of 1619 to September 21st of 2019 is 400 years. So we, we coming for that ass. We, we coming. And we gonna, we gonna, and we gonna war with y'all and kick y'all ass off our planet. Cause we sick of y'all bullshit. Matter of fact, the galaxy is sick of y'all bullshit. Hell, hell, I speak, I speak for the galaxy when I say we sick of y'all bullshit. Hell, so, so, so they gonna know today. They gonna know what it is. So now, now I got that out the way. What 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 was it like being in the Jedi Order during this time, during the times of Atlantis? What was they like? Well, they 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 were they were, they were priest warriors. They were they were they were magical warriors, y'all. And they had four levels, four major levels. Let me see here. What is it? Bartleby. Is it Bartleby? Which is they left to fuck us in the jail pillow. Now they didn't they didn't believe us when we connected that shit. But the jail pillow and the lightsaber are exactly the same. As y'all can see. Matter of fact, all I gotta do is turn the lightsaber upside down and turn the jail pillow upside down. Boom. Don't they look don't they look the same? See what I'm saying? So, they left us a secret here with these four pillars that y'all see. You see what I'm saying? Because the jet pillars actually represent the hip of the lightsaber. So, like what it used to look like back during those times. You see what I'm saying? Or they can just shoot it out, the beam will right out this way as well. I've seen that as well, that variation also. So, it just depends on the creativity of the particular Jedi at the time. Now, the secrets of the jet pillar. What is the Jed pillar? Well, Jed comes from the ancient Egyptian word Jed, which means center, stability. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? It also represents your spine. You see what I'm saying? That's why it's called the Jed pillar. Because your spine is where your Kundalini force rise up into, rise up through your chakras out of your crown into the universe at large and becomes one with the all. And then you become the Jedi Master. You see what I'm saying? Because you now have learned to harness your mystic force, your serpent force, to do what needs to be done in the world. So, let's continue. Now, 
There are four levels of Kundalini consciousness that I need to talk to y'all about. Four levels that the force recognizes it, um, as you as you as you uh, uh, deal as you are uh, progressing on your path, your spiritual path. Number one will be known as the youngling. You're a youngling in the force. You see what I'm saying? You just throwing out, just learning. You just <clears throat> you just getting there. You just you just finding your way. You just throwing out. You know, learn how to. Uh, your ability, learn how to access your ability, learn how to find yourself, learning knowledge of self. You see what I'm saying? So, 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 this is what you're starting off at. You usually have a childlike mind at this point, having a good time, enjoying your life, enjoying and enjoying your family and friends. Next, from there, you become, you, you graduate to Padawan. Now, you, at this point, you are the apprentice. You're a lot more disciplined than you was as a youngling, but you still have that childlike nature. Usually we would know them. Usually they would used to be teenagers by this point, or at least preteens. So, so they they learn it. They 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 grow and heal. They 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 learn all about the world and the galaxy at large. They they study. Uh, they gain more prominent more prominence and control over the force. You know the usual. So 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 this is what's happening here. This is what's happening. They they get they get stronger and stronger. And they start to develop their abilities more and more. Now, after this point, they go through Jedi Knight trials to become a Jedi Knight. You see, they go through Jedi trials to become a Jedi Knight. It's five of them: uh, the trial of courage, insight, spirit, endurance, and strength. Those are the five tri trials. Now. You go through these five trials and you become you you sufficiently prove that to the force that you got because it's one thing to prove to your physical uh, your physical teachers that you got but you have to also prove to the force that you got that's when you truly gain the mark of a Jedi Knight you see what I'm saying you see what I'm saying so next you continue your journey your training you you, you go out there and explore the world do many different things heal the planets. Fight the good fight. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Fight the good war. Help out who you need to help out. Uh, grow with from within. You see what I'm saying? Next, you then go from um, Jedi Knight to Jedi Master. You see what I'm saying? The fourth pillar. The fourth pillar. And on the fourth pillar, you have gained a level of maturity in the force. Well, at this point, you have gained complete control over the force, like Master Yoda and Mace Windu. You see what I'm saying? You gain complete control over you a monster now. <laughs> you 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 bow to you ever taking ships and fucking you see what I'm saying? Set shit on fire and doing all type of cool shit with the force. Now at this point, you 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 are the master. Like 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 show nothing Bruce Leroy, you the master now. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You've achieved the glow and mastered the glow to its highest abilities. You see what I'm saying? So so you the master the force to its highest height. <laughs> so much so that the force becomes effortless to you. Harnessing and wielding it. You see what I'm saying? It becomes it becomes effortless. You become effortless. So, so, so this, this is the secrets of the J pillar, the four levels. You see what I'm saying? And the fourth level give way to a fifth level, which is grand status. These are, the, these are the fourth pillars, but they're fused into the fifth pillar, which is your spine, which is, which leads you to the four level or the grand master level. Now, the grand master level, you just pretty much a total badass. You Yoda, shit. You Yoda at this point. Hell, you Emperor. You Emperor Palpatine at this point. Goddamn Darth Plagueis. See what I'm saying? You, you so you so bad at this point that everything you 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 do is force related. Like everything you do at this point is like so advanced that it's damn near incomprehensible. Like you you can channel force storms and fucking manipulate. The, the whole environment of a planet. You see what I'm saying? The, the whole planet, a whole planet can bend to your will now because you have that much knowledge and control over the force at this point. See what I'm saying? This grand master level, Titan level. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Like the Titans in Greek mythology, they had such a, such a knowledge of the force that they was just badass.
is. You see what I'm saying? They could they could be touched for the most part to the cycles change, of course. So so this is what we're talking about. This this is the secrets of the gym. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? So so this this is what it's about. This 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 is some fire shit. So that's what the that's 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 how they move through the ranks. You see what I'm saying? Just, not just in life, but the fourth step. Because you, because when you when you a Jedi, a spiritual warrior, you walk in between both the realm of the force and the physical. You you a hybrid now. You you a conduit for both. Bo both planes, you see what I'm saying? So, 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 since you're a conduit for both planes, you're receiving in divine guidance from the force, but it's but it's manifesting in the physical world. You see what I'm saying? And you're the living conduit, the living jet that this energy is manifesting through. You see what I'm saying? So yes, so this is what it's all about. So, 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 so yeah. So, so this this is this is what we're talking about here. You see what I'm saying? This is this is what we're talking about. This is what we we know as the force. So I just want to let y'all know what this is all about. Now, now, another thing about the force. What, what besides it being this unified metaphysical field, what else can it do? It binds all things in the galaxy together to create a pattern of interconnectedness. Which we know is the way of life. So everything you do can literally affect the next being. And not only that, mm -hmm. the timeline. It can literally reverberate down the timeline. You see what I'm saying? So whatever 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 you do is is advanced in ways you don't even understand. Like shit, shit, shit that I've done with the force over the years have reverberated down the timeline so that it blew my mind. Like damn that happened. Like damn that that that, that manifested. Oh wow. This shit this shit this shit real. This this, this works. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, so yes. That's that's what it's all about. So I just wanna let y'all know like y'all y'all was the baddest motherfuckers in the galaxy. We we was the baddest niggas here. You see what I'm saying? To to they got the jump on us, to to they squired up on us. Hell yeah, them motherfuckers hundred million deep, y'all. Shit. The picture of blockade around your planet with fucking five hundred thousand ships on each side. You see what I'm saying? That, that's how deep these niggas was. That's that's how many of them motherfuckers it took to take us down. And we were still whooping their asses until they started destroying our planet and all the things on it that helped us, you know, would help us wield the force even on a higher level. Towers. Ah, uh, pyramids. You see what I'm saying? Ancient, ancient, ancient uh, stargates. You see what I'm saying? All type of things that we had on the different portals and chakras and meridians on this planet. You see what I'm saying? So that's 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 what we was about. That's what we was about. You see what I'm saying? So so it took all of them just to subdue us. And believe it or not, they not scared of nobody. They scared of us. They like, nah, we can't, we can't let these motherfuckers rise again. Nah, it was a headache the first time. It took a hundred years to shut them down. We never had to fight that hard in any galaxy. We we finally met our match, and like we had to bombard the planet so 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 much so that to 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 shut them down. And it still they still was whooping our ass. They we still was taking out hundred ships at a time. You see what I'm saying? We're just our force. Like like Lord Vichy, he was just using. His yeah, yeah, he would use his force to, 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 he could, he could snatch the force from the whole planet. That's what we were doing. We were, we were, we were, we were wiping out, vaporizing, disintegrating these ships. Hell, by the time we done, by the time we was done with them, literally one to two thirds of their, 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 their party was gone. Like they had to go get reinforcements for high ass. They literally had to go get reinforcements. We wiped out like two thirds of the, they, they squad. You see what I'm saying? They had to go get reinforcements from other galaxies. Like they had to, they had to, they had to wait to. Uh, that's why it took a hundred years for them to be there. They had to wait till other motherfuckers got here so they could help. They had to go and build stargates and shit <laughs> just to get motherfuckers over here to help them with this war. So I just want to let y'all know, like y'all, y'all some bad motherfuckers, and they they don't want they don't want none no more. They 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 had a headache the first time, and we and we. And 
we know what they're capable of now here. We've been living with them for a while. So we know how dangerous they are. And they got kind of lazy. They, they, they ain't not nearly as fierce as they was back in the day because they sit on their ass for 2,000 years. You see what I'm saying? They sit on their ass. You see what I'm saying? Just chilling, you know, drinking Kool-Aid, you know. Hell, yeah, they got here. It, it was comfortable. You see what I'm saying? But nature made them that way. So that nature made them laid back. And, oh, no, just chill, relax, you know, just chill, you know. They, nature made them like that. She just chill, relax, have a good time until it's time for us to wipe you out. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now they, they degenerated their fucking genes sitting around not doing that for 2,000 years. So now they just fucked up. That's why they so scared. That's why he's trying to get the hell off this planet. That's why he's trying to get the hell off this planet. So, 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 that's what it is. Now, for the last portion of this lecture, I want to talk about this. I want to talk about um, Mace Windu's, Mace Windu's Volpod. You know what I'm saying? His, his Volpod philosophy, fighting style. And the reason why I want to talk about this because I know a lot of star seeds are awakening. And they're having a real hard time finding their balance right now because, you know, you wake up. You spend your whole life seeing motherfuckers use their inner darkness to to fuck shit up. So when you wake up, you naturally polarize toward the light automatically. You see what I'm saying? You naturally polarize towards the light. So which is which is what you're supposed to do actually at first, because the light side is the solar. So the whole purpose of the light the, the light side is to heal and refine your soul energies and regenerate them so that you can become the soul warrior and warriors that you once was. That's what the whole point of the light side is all about. But eventually, after you've mastered the light side at a certain point, the other the other side, the other polarity is going to come knocking at your door. And so when they come knocking at your door, you got to be ready to accept the dark side of the force, which is the melanin arts. And you got a mouth and you go it's gonna be a time where <clears throat> you're gonna you're gonna spend in the darkness mastering your melanin. Now, after you master your melanin, which is learning how to uh, master your passions because your passions fuel your melanin. You see what I'm saying? Your passions fuel your melanin. And the stronger and pure your passions are the stronger your melody become, the more supercharged it becomes. And the more he, the more supercharged it becomes, the 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 stronger uh, the more you the more the the easier it is for you to bend and warp reality to your will. Like say for example, uh, you have been so excited and passionate about something that it seems like the world around you is starting to bend to your will. Like it's starting to warp and ricochet and shit because that you, your your passion is fueling your melanin. You see what I'm saying? It's getting stronger and stronger. You see what I'm saying? And it's warping your reality, time, space. You see what I'm saying? So this is what this is about. This is what this is about. So after you master your inner darkness, your inner melanin, of course, you got to use the dark and the light together and balance back out. Now, another thing that a lot of people have a hard time with is neutrality. What is neutrality, Marvin? You know, like the Asians call it the state of nothingness or emptiness. So what is that? It's really the state of being neutral. But what does neutrality feel like? You ever wake up in the morning? How, how do you feel when you wake up in the morning? You feel nothing when you wake up in the morning. You feel empty when you wake up in the morning. This feeling, this, this, this feeling of nothingness is the state of neutrality. It's the feeling of what it, what it feels like to be neutral. You see what I'm saying? You feel it every morning when you wake up because every your body is reset when you wake up. You see what I'm saying? So so this is the state of neutrality or the feeling of neutrality. You see what I'm saying? So when we, when we reach that state of androgyny or holism or holiness, then you can now harness the force and all its aspects in its totality. You see what I'm saying? And wield it in its totality. So this is this is this is what makes it so fucking powerful. You see what I'm saying? Now, with that being said, how does Maze Windu relate to this? Maze Windu actually had the same problem a lot of star seeds are going through right now. Although albeit it's the direct opposite. Oh, it's 
outdated it too now. It's the uh, it's a direct opposite of uh, what we, we are going through now. He was trying to master his inner darkness in the world of light. In their world, in their world, uh, the light side of the force was all they taught. They didn't teach the dark side. So he had to figure out a way to master this. He was like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with all this melanin? You see what I'm saying? What am I supposed to do with this if y'all don't even teach it? So he had to figure out a way to do this. And his answer was Vaughn. Vaughn is a Yeah, okay. Vaughn is a philosophical fighting style that uh, is an adaptation of Juyo, which harnesses your darker emotions and makes your uh, attacks more explosive. Now, but it's a philosophical style, so it's a state of mind. You see what I'm saying? It's a state of mind. So check out what he says about Vaughn. He said, I developed Valpod to answer my own weakness and channel my inner darkness and a melanin into a weapon of the light. To use Valpod, a Jedi must give himself over to the thrill of battle, enjoying the fight, and the satisfaction of winning. A Jedi must a Jedi must also accept and embrace the fury of his opponent. This transforms a Jedi into half of a superconducting loop. The other half being the power of darkness, melanin, which passes in and out of the Jedi without touching him. Valpar is more than a fighting style, it is a state of mind, a path that leads to the penumbra of the dark side, the penumbra of melanin. You see what I'm saying? So, 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 he just told you, like, it's, it's a superconducting loop that uh, he can channel his, his, his inner darkness through. But not only can he channel his inner darkness, he can channel the fury or inner melanin of another person through him and send that energy back to them plus his, plus his own energy. And it doubles or and even triples the effect. You see what I'm saying? Let me give y'all an example here. Let me give y'all an example here. Let's, let's see this because he, he did this in the movie. He did this in the movie when he fought Palpatine. Let's see here. Let me show y'all. Let me, let, me, let me show y'all what's up. Let me just cut it down some. Here you go. That's good enough. All right, there we go. There we go. Check this out. Wait, is that a commercial? Yeah. Here we go. I told you, Captain Ish. I was right. The Jedi are taking over. The oppression of the Sith will never return. You have lost. No. 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 You are not. Look how the energy is uh, reflecting back to him, rebounding on him, the lightning. See that? That's him using ball bombs. So there you go. You see how the lightning was reflecting off of Mace Windu and back on the thing. See this in this case, that's Valpod. He was using, he was channeling both not only his melanin, but uh, Palpatine's melanin back onto him. And the energy was tearing his ass up for the most part. That, re that, that deflection, that rebound was tearing his ass up. You see what I'm saying? So, so, so that, that's Vaughn So, how does this relate to people mastering their inner darkness? How does it relate to it is he found a way to deal with it. You see what I'm saying? You can, this is not something you can ignore. You can't ignore the dark or the light. You can't allow your heart 
dark succumb to darker light. Your heart has to be in supreme balance. You see what I'm saying? It has to be in supreme balance, a supreme state of balance, where you rooted in your new in your uh, sense of neutrality. You see what I'm saying? Your state of neutrality. It comes from the heart first. It matures in your third eye, or your first eye, but it has to be it has to be rooted here. You see what I'm saying? So 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 so. This is this is what we talking about. He had to find a way to master his inner darkness, and so he created this style and this philosophy to deal with it. And the philosophy, him him walking this path, led to him being being so powerful that he can literally deflect the lightning bolts of Emperor Palpatine, which few, I don't think anybody else was able to do besides Master Yoda, you see what I'm saying? So only one other being in the galaxy was able to do that, you see what I'm saying? And, and Master Yoda didn't even reflect it back on him. He just, it just, he got so close, it rebounded naturally. Motherfucking Mace Windu reflected it back on him. It rebounded on him, you see what I'm saying? So this is what we talking about. This, this is what we talking about. So you gotta find your way, your own way of mastering both your inner darkness and your inner light. Fusing them together so they can become one holistic energy and you can become one holistic force of being and conduit and live in jail for the force. You see what I'm saying? So this is what this is about. That's what the magnum opus or the great work is about. Becoming a true living supreme being here on the physical plane. But that's what it's all about, y'all. That's what it's all about. So, with that being said, yeah, that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much everything. So, yeah. Yeah. Don't give up, y'all. We almost there. We almost home free. So, this is what this is about. I wanted to share this, 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 these Jedi Chronicles with you. You see what I'm saying? How it all happened. Hope this helps. Right. Right. Man, it lasts for 600 years and I got the, 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 the wars. Yeah, yeah. And like the Orion, because he built all the fleet to go Orion. I just saw a comment in my head. She said, Orion was going to say they took over. So they asked they took over before they got here. You see what I'm saying? So really, Really, it's the it's the Arconian Empire. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Cause Orion is a victim of what the fuck they did over there before they got here. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, so with just one gas that he took down before they got over, they came. Not guess they all fucking shit up. So yeah, yeah, jewels, the universe within. You see, agents equal compromise free will. True, true, true. Here's a question. Jermaine crystals can hold consciousness. They can store information. And an oscillating crystal can produce electromagnetic light depending on this oscillating frequency. True, true. That's a truth there. Right. Jermaine, 680 tetrahertz is violet light frequency. If a crystal can oscillate at the frequency, it can produce electromagnetic purple light or ultraviolet light, as is also known. So, yeah, so yeah, it's deep information. Yeah, it is, man. They, they, they fuck with this one hard. They, they really black this one out a few times. There we go. There we go. God damn. Let me get off this motherfucker. So, yeah, man, I gotta bounce when I watch this later. Yeah, it'll be up late then. Yeah, I seen you, man. Yeah, it'll, it'll, I'm, at, I'm at the library, so. Yeah. 
zu merken. There you go. The main masculinity use forces will be absorbed this shit. True, true. Well, yeah, I have no other questions. I'm getting up out here. They've been attacking this shit all day. So. And get on up out here so y'all get video. Well, all the junk, you know, share this with your friends, put the word out. Check out my YouTube channel, The Metal Now Water, where all my other lectures at. And I'm out. Peace.